In this tutorial, we're going to look at exporting. Exporting is an essential process for creating graphics from drawn vector art. When you export, you can choose a format, dimensions and quality suited to how you want to use your picture. For example, a JPEG to use on websites or a PNG for printing and working with transparency. Exporting leaves your original drawing intact, which means you can come back and edit it at any time. So let's get started. I've created this design in DrawPlus and now I'd like to export it. To begin, open the file menu and choose Export, Export Picture. This is the Picture Export dialog. You can zoom in or out using the dialog's zoom tool. In the Options tab, you can choose an export format and specific settings. The options change depending on the format that's selected. Each time you make a new choice, the preview pane refreshes using the new settings, as well as showing the estimated file size. I'm exporting this drawing as a page. This is because the page was already sized to my liking, so I didn't have to make any changes. To finish the export, simply click the Export button. You'll need to choose somewhere to save your exported file and provide a file name. Finally, click Save and your project will be successfully exported. Now we'll look at a slightly different exporting situation. I want to export the flower in my design, but not the surrounding text. To do this, I'll simply select the flower by clicking on it and then go to the Picture Export dialog. It's really useful to see different formats alongside each other so they can be compared more easily. In the Picture Export dialog, you can choose either Dual or Quad View. A number of preview panes appear. Next, select one of these panes, then change the format settings and compare the results. JPEG is a popular format to use when exporting because file sizes can be controlled. A useful tip for exporting to JPEG is to reduce the quality value if a reduced file size is important to you. Let's look at the effects of doing this. I'll click on the other pane and set the format to JPEG, but I'll also change the quality settings. You can see the file size is lower than in the other pane, but the picture's appearance isn't affected. If I wanted my drawing to have a transparent background, I would change the format to PNG. To allow transparency, I'll need to choose a bit depth of 32. As you can see, the drawing now has a white and grey checkerboard background. This shows that the transparency is honoured. When you're ready to proceed with the export, first make sure that the correct preview pane is selected. Next, click Export and follow the instructions as before. When you next go to Exit Draw Plus, a dialog box will appear prompting you to save changes. Exporting your image saves it in a format suitable for use outside of the program, but it can't be edited anymore. If you click Yes to save your changes, you'll be able to save your drawing as a Draw Plus project, a DPP file, which means you can come back and edit it in the future if you need to. If you want to be able to do this, click Yes and then save your drawing as you would do normally. Finally, we'll look at exporting as a pixel accurate graphic, specifically for web design. This is useful if there's a particular region you want to export or you want to ensure that it's a specific size. First, we'll need to swap to pixel measurement units. To do this, first right click the rules on the side of the page and choose Pixels. Next, from the standard toolbar, click Overlays and then choose Export Overlay from the drop down list. You'll see a bounding box that's been placed around the page. This is the overlay. Resize the bounding box using the handles and then reposition the box over the export area. When you're happy with the export region, click Export. 
I'm going to use JPEG format and set the quality to 95%. Well, that's all for this tutorial. You can experiment with format settings, bit depth and quality to see what works best for you and for your drawings. For more information, see the Help, the How To tab or the other online tutorials. Thanks for watching.